Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to create this um, iPhone iMessage speech bubble uh, animation um, and I'm just going to, uh, I, I, I designed it in Illustrator first and now I'm just going to head on into After Effects and animate this for the first time. Uh, so I'm just going to try to figure out how to do this uh, the best way uh, possible. So um, bear with me if it's not fully uh, scripted and done or something. It's just uh, me uh, kind of trying how to do this for the first time. Um, so here we are in Illustrator and I've designed this um, speech bubble um, thingy here. Uh, we have the a background layer. We have this um, another background layer. Uh, we have the iMessage uh, text here and we have this the where, where you can type your message and the send button. We have the loading um, bub uh, speech bubble. Let's lock this, uh, which consists out of uh, one, two, three elements and then three loading dots. And we have the speech bubbles themselves. Um, and I have divided those all into separate layers. Also, uh, these ones are all separate layers. This is one layer because they don't. we don't need to animate that thing. This is one layer and this is one layer. Um, I did not add all the text in here uh, because I'm going to do that in After Effects. Uh, okay, so now we're going to save this and we're going to open it up in After Effects. Uh, here we go. Um, and let's see, uh, I've opened the, um, uh, the comp in After Effects here in my timeline. So let's first check all of these boxes to make it all nice and crisp. And we can lock the two background layers. Yeah, so now we only have these to work with. So we don't need to see this uh, for now. Um, we're gonna lock them for now, we, we do need them. And we're going to lock them as well. First, I'm going to animate this little uh, loading uh, bubble. Uh, we can animate that once, I think, and then we can use it multiple times because there are three messages, so we need it needs to pop up three times. But I only need to animate it one time and then comp it together, and then I can duplicate it uh, two times. Okay, so let's jump in here. Um, I'm just going to give these uh, a separate color so I can see them better. Blue is fine. Okay, and I'm going to parent these one to the big one. Yep. And these can have a scale. I'm going to scale them up from zero to 100. Really slowly, okay. Uh, let's just give that an exponential growth. Right. Yeah, that's fine. And this one, I'm going to scale it from up here. Um, scale, press S on the keyboard, open it up. And then uh, let's put it at zero. Select them, give them an exponential as well. I'm using the flow plugin, by the way. All right, maybe this can be a bit faster. And then we're going to, I want to use this bubble first, then this one, and then this one. Yeah, maybe this one. Yeah, something like this. Just trying what looks best here. I'm not trying to exactly recreate the Apple, uh, the animations that, it, that are in iMessage while my After Effects is loading. All right, hello. Beach ball of death. Ah, there you go. Uh, I'm not trying to recreate the exactly what um, what happens in your iMessage with Apple. It just needs to kind of look like it. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, and then these speech bubbles, um, they like kind of pulse. Uh, uh, they, they become a darker, a darker gray one after the other. So we're going to right click it and go to layer style and then color overlay, which gives it a color overlay. I open it up and then I can uh, uh, click on the this thing. Uh, I don't know what it's called anymore, sorry. Um, uh, go there, make it the same gray and then just make it a bit more dark. Um, eyedropper tool, that's it, sorry, eyedropper tool. Uh, okay, so now that's 
uh, more dark and I'm going to animate this color overlay so I'm going to go to opacity and go hit a stopwatch for 100 and let's go back with command and then the left arrow one two three four five six or something go to zero so now it kind of fades in and then one two three four five six I don't know why six just feels good then again so now you can see it pulsing and I'm going to um, copy these command C and I'm going to this one and I'm going to put my arrow right here my timeline scrubber and I'm going to press command V so I paste those keyframes but they start right there and these ones I'm going to paste right here so I think this will give me a nice pulsing effect right after each other yeah okay cool um, what I can do is copy them and then paste them again here so now then it starts all over again but I'm going to add a looping expression and how do I do that is selecting these keyframes or go to opacity doesn't really matter um, pressing um, alt or option on your keyboard and clicking on the stopwatch that opens my expressions box and then I'm kind of going to add the loop expression which is loop um, capital O uh, out open parentheses type space is space um, cycle like that I'll add it in the description down below so you can copy it um, and now this one will keep looping but it, it pul it's pulsating too fast which what uh, what is what I thought so I'm going to go one two three four five six one two three four five six and then I'm going to uh, add another keyframe so now at this point it will start again because now this is the whole animation so this will loop and before if I do not add this keyframe only this part these three will loop but I need to hit all of this part to loop because at this moment the last one is done uh, so this one needs to begin again so I'm going to do this for this one as well um, one two three four five six add a keyframe one two three four five six add a keyframe and if I copy this and then I paste it here and in here and I think that it should work properly yeah nice cool okay great 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 uh, let's just move on uh, yeah so now I'm going to um, put them in the front actually so they start looping um, pulsing immediately yeah okay yeah nice so I'm going to uh, select them all and command shift C or right click pre-compose um, loading bubble all right so that's done I think great okay um, but the blue one needs to go first so we're going to lock this now just unlock everything but not the backgrounds and this one um, so now we're going to have to type something in here um, uh, an iMessage needs to stay here uh, while you're not typing while you're not typing it says iMessage in this uh, gray color um, so let this thing we can also lock this because we don't need that that will be the i um, iMessage uh, border great and let's just name these we have the send button what's this this is I message text yeah bubble one two three uh, okay cool um, so this I message text needs to stay there but it needs to um, disappear when we're typing something and uh, so I'm going to press command D to duplicate it and I'm going to make it black or maybe not extra black just like this, like this. Um, did I not do that? Hello? Oh wait. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a text. It's it's just an Illustrator layer. So we're going to back to Illustrator, and we're going to 
double click, select them all, press Command C, then go back, and now we are going to press Command T to open the text tool. Click once, and then Command V. There you go. Now it's the exact same font, the exact same height, uh, width, everything, uh, size. By the way, the font is the, what is it, the San Francisco Compact Display. It's a custom font, ma font made by Apple. You can download it for free on their website. And it's the regular I'm using right here. Um, this one we can turn into a really dark gray black color. I'm going to put it right on top and then we can delete the iMessage text because now this is customizable. All right. And this needs to be actually, wait, I'm going to duplicate it and turn it off. And the bottom one needs to be that color and iMessage text. I have this weird thing where I want everything to be in caps. I don't know why. Just leave me alone. Okay, and then this text needs to be the text we're going to type first. So that's going to be, hey. No. This one. Hey. Hey. Okay. Um, so we're going to start off with this. And then the iMessage text needs to be trans uh, opacity. And then we're going to go one frame further and go to zero Bloop. and then this one can start here so if it yeah but this needs to be typed in so we're going to go to my effects and presets and type in typewriter animate in typewriter and you can drag it onto your text and if you open press u on your keyboard you open the keyframes for it hello yeah and it creates these keyframes and it's from 100 to uh, from 0 to 100 which will animate your text so this one needs to be a lot shorter so it types it in maybe a bit yeah okay so now hey all right nice okay and when you send something then this arrow this blue becomes a little bit less blue so we're going to time this now, like we have iMessage standing there and then he's going to type, hey, bloop, and then he's going to send something. So I'm going to go to the opacity by pressing T on the keyboard and hitting a stopwatch and then go a few frames further and then go to uh, maybe like, uh, no, not 80, maybe 60. You know what? 70. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then go back to 100 again. So now it has this little bloop animation, which I do not like. So I'm going to command the, uh, copy this and command V to paste it. So it, mm, it needs to stay there for a while. Yeah. Maybe this needs to be faster. I don't know. Yeah, that's better. Beep. All right. So now it's it's pressed. Uh, you pressed send. So now this needs to turn into this with the text in it. So how are we are we going to do this? I'm going to uh, select this one and I'm going to put it down. No, uh, let's just copy it because then I can uh, save these all all of these. I'm going to press Command D to duplicate it and put it down here and I'm going to right click uh, and create a shape from the vector layer and I'm going to delete, delete that vector layer because now I can um, um, make this thing bigger which it needs to be yeah okay so I'm going to put this right here cut it off because now we um, we type in hey and then you can send it hey bloop, maybe a bit earlier okay and now this one needs to come in and we're going to go to the opacity from 100 and it needs to start at zero of course so it fades in yeah and then I want this text to be parented to that 
um, speech bubble because the speech bubble is going to move right here and the hey the text needs to be um, needs to stick to that the text as well needs to um, change color so I'm going to give that as well a right click layer style color overlay and that needs to go from that needs to be white and also that opacity needs to go from zero to a hundred yeah and then while this speech bubble is moving up this of course needs to be moving to the right Oop. so I'm going to animate go to position for the speech bubble we have this annoying ass line let's open it up go to content group one and then group one delete that I only want the path one yeah okay nice uh, where was I yeah I'm going to go to position P on the keyboard and I'm going to a bit further and then I'm like dragging this up maybe uh, I don't know where something around here so now this one moves up and it kind of transforms yeah so it also needs to like shove to the right so the text needs to go to the right with the position and yeah something like this let's just go press command R to open our rulers and set a ruler here so we know where the end of the text need to be where it needs to um, align for future reference and then because I made this into a shape layer I can open it up go to contents group one path one and then I can I'm going to go here path and right here I'm going to select all these points and drag them way in yes 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 okay now there's no easing on that of course so we're going to add that right now maybe this needs to mm. Yeah, but further in. Great. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what now? Yeah, I'm going to go uh, put some ease on this. So we got the hey, we got our speech bubble. I'm going to name that speech bubble. And the iMessage text, we don't need to do that right now. It's the street people and the hey. Yeah, those need to be animated right now. We have need to put some ease on that so um what's this this one is the opacity so it first let's first put the timing so it needs to oh that's kind of great so it needs to first needs to pop in with the, and then it needs to um move up and to the right i think so let's just give this all some easy ease how does that look okay so i think the position of this one and these ones the path and the position need to be a bit earlier so it kind of goes at the same time a bit faster maybe yeah um we need some easy some more ease i think in the position if i select these and I go to the graph editor maybe it needs to like start slowly and then whoop, go fast mm, a bit too much maybe maybe now it's just trial and error you guys just trying what what looks best um, oh I'm gonna put them because now the it's it's a bit the, the hay moves a bit late, so I'm going to like this I think. Yeah. That looks I <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Fine. That's fine. That's cool. 
Um, I don't want to be sit here, sitting here for two hours to create the perfect speech bubble movement. I'm just watching it back like 100 times now to really check if it's, if it's good enough. Yeah, I think it's cool. Okay, so if we're going to look back at this whole thing, then we have iMessage, it's standing there, and then we're typing in, hey, send, bloop. Cool. So now we can, <coughs> mm, I think we can, yeah, let's, do, let's just, mm, yeah, calm them together, I think, to hey, that's, all right. Um, so this one needs to be, needs to not be visible. So we're going to start off right here. We're going to delete this afterwards. We're going to start off here and then we're going to start typing something. Um, which can be earlier, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, so now this one needs to move back as well. All right, so now if this one moves up, iMessage needs to be visible again. So we're going to do that right here. I think when, if I'm going to add a keyframe for opacity and then right here, it can be 100 again. But um, Yeah, all right. Hey, <clears throat> so now we're going to need this, the loading bubble put it uh, on top um, so it's typing this hey and boom is that too slow no and then wait a sec and the speech bubble comes in so when the speech bubble comes in this one needs to move up so we're going to um, yeah, when the speech bubble comes in, this hey needs to go up by using P for position. And okay, so I can, I think it kind of needs to be around here. And then we're going to time this right. Wow, great. Perfect movement, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe some exponential in and out. Maybe a bit faster and a, oh, a bit later. It's all about timing, all right. Yeah, we're going to turn this one off for a sec so we can get a better view of things. Okay, so this one, how it's going to look. Hey, bloop, and then that starts loading. All right, so now we're going to need um, only this one. So this one needs to um, contain some text. Uh, so we're going to go on iMessage text, duplicate that, and we're going to delete all these keyframes. And we're going to go to a, um, a hey because this text color is, I'm going to copy, copy this one, and I'm going to give the iMessage text uh, number two that color, yeah. That needs to be here, and it needs to say, what's up? What's up? Okay. And we're going to parent that, of course, to this speech bubble. This is um, gray bubble one. Um, and this is, what's up? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, I've done something terribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay, what's up? Um, and then we're going to need to figure out how. So if 
Uh, hey, what's up? So we need to lead, we need to see the, the loading bar for a while, and then the speech bubble. I think yeah. So this hey, what's up? Can just I'm going to uh, group them together as well. Calm them. Come on, Shift C. Like of uh, like, what's up? And check the box always. And that one can go with a position from from right here. Uh, exponential. Or what was this one? P. Yeah, needs to be the same as that. Well, how was that? Yeah, there was an exponential. It's the same. Yeah, cool. Oop. All right. So when this uh, when this is happening, the speech bubble must um, must move away. So how it maybe give this an opacity? I don't know. From zero as well. And then the speech, the loading bubble needs to. I think if I'm gonna put the anchor point right there and scale that down while this one moves up. I don't know. Oh no, of course, because the the, the speech bubble must turn into this, uh, the loading bubble, sorry, must, must turn into the uh, speech bubble. It doesn't need to move up because it can just stay there. Yeah, so that means that this position just needs to go away. And we don't need this as well. I'm going to put this on top. Yeah. Okay, and then when that happens, the loading bubble can just be cut off. Ram. Pretty harsh, no, not like that. Maybe like this. Let's see how that looks. Mm. Maybe we, it just needs to be a hard cut. No, I think they can both go to opacity 100. Um, now, and this what's up? It needs to start at zero, and then that goes up to 100, and this one goes down to zero. Yeah, nice, okay. Uh, what's up? All right. Loading. What's up? Okay, and now I'm going to parent the hey to the what's up, because now we're going to type something in again. Um, and I'm going to go to hey copy the hey text. Now we're going to actually copy all of this. Copy, go on C, and then paste. Yeah, because, yeah, we just need to, we need the same animation again. So now we're going to say, um, uh, what we're going to say, um, what has, Four wheels. What is happening? Why is this not showing up? It's weird. What has four wheels and Nice. Yeah, Jesus, I cannot type. What has four wheels and flies? I have no idea why it's not. Why it's not. What's happening? Okay, let's just delete this then. Duplicate this. What has four wheels and flies? Question mark. 
and we're going to give this uh, that color all right we have a problem because now it's not fitting anymore all right so okay oh i know i know what your problem was i think i'm just gonna go back yeah and i'm going to there you go of course it was the type in effect what was throwing all my throwing it off all right cool um all right so let's start this position right there um hmm this is a nice interest interesting thing because it, it actually needs to so we're going to maybe do this because it needs to take a lot longer to type this of course all right let's just go to the u and the imessage text and then command c and command v this what has four wheels and flies question mark what has four wheels and flies what has four wheels and flies and flies but now the text is too long for this <clears throat> for this mm, part for this thing it doesn't fit in there that's what i want to say so how are we going to solve this um, that's a really good question man let's see okay what has so first of first off this needs to go there what has four wheels and then maybe around here we're going to go to the position <clears throat> and move it to the left or something and then we're going to co copy this position and paste it here as well so that doesn't screw this uh, things up wow all right horrible looking Give some exponential Yeah, now we're going to just try to make this look good. Move them both, both up. What is four wheels and... What is four wheels and flies? What has four wheels and flies? Okay, great. Let's just leave it at that for now. I message border. Right click and create a shape layer. Delete this one. And we're going to go to the path, options, content, group one, path. And then we're going to go here to the first keyframe where the text start moving. Uh, path. And then uh, this one, this one it needs to get out of here. All right. And also give this some exponential. So I think... yeah what has four wheels and flies mm, i don't know if this looks kind of realistic on how it would look on, on the apple iMessage app but you know what i don't really care anymore this way takes way too long what has four wheels and flies all right and now it gets sent it up and then it moves up but this one is way too big uh, and this one moves way too much to the right so we're going to oh, uh, press command um, double point what is it called colon or something um, colon yeah and then it will open our uh, rulers again and I'm gonna put that right there yeah and then this one needs to the path of this it's now really small but we don't need that so we're going to select these paths these anchor points and move them up i can't see anything thank you very much 
So what we're going to do is we're going to, we earlier we parented the hey layer to the what's up layer. It's uh, parented to what's up. So now we're going to parent the what's up layer to our iMessage um, speech bubble text. Uh, what's up to speech bubble. So now it moves up correctly. All right. Oh, and now, of course, the starting position for this is all wrong. Starting path. Whoops. So I'm going to select them while I'm, st while I'm standing on the, the first keyframe, keyframe of this path, path path. I'm like switching between British and, uh, and American English mid sentence. Um, okay. Yeah. That's there you go. What has four wheels and flies? And now we need to the send button, press U, and we're going back and copy these so it stops typing and then paste them so it sends it up maybe a bit later like this. Send, bloop. There you go. What is four wheels and flies? That's Mm -hmm. Let's not do that. Yeah, I want this to be a bit faster earlier. Okay. Great. We're going to calm these together as well. Four wheels. And then let's not forget to parent this uh, what's up yet again to the four wheels because I parented it earlier to the layer inside it but now the parent is gone so now I need to parent it, parent it again so it it of course doesn't work because it's not moving up of course that's dumb that's dumb so I'm not going to calm this together <laughs> because then I um, I lose my uh, parent I can solve this by just removing the position here and then or just positioning this one up but let's just leave it at this. Um, I'm going to uh, stop this tutorial now because we're, we are in here like five and a half hours. Um, I think you get the gist of it. Um, and now here with iMessage text yet back, back again so command C and then command V or something. And then that's that you can go to this one and open it up. Come on, C, come on, V, and then maybe just the normal size again. I don't know. Or maybe just in one frame. So when it leaves, it's already there. Boop. Yeah, so um, that's basically it. I will finish a joke for you. Hey, what's up? What has four wheels and flies? Um, I don't know, what? A garbage truck. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my God. Okay, um, so that's the thing, uh, the, the, the gist of it. It's like using the typewriter effect to type out these words, um, creating a speech bubble which is moving up, and then you can parent these speech bubbles to each other, and we have the... Uh, this one here. So if I want to use this one again right now, I'm I can just uh, go to my uh, pro project files and I have the loading bubble in here and I can drag it back in. So it, there it is again. And always check the little star. And so now what has four wheels and flies? And now this one comes back in, which means that the um, what's what, what has four wheels and flies? needs to go up so position and it moves up exponentially and that needs to so what is four wheels and flies then speech bu of a loading bu bubble again and while the loading bubble comes in this needs to go up Bloop. 
Yeah. Looks great, doesn't it? I think so. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions about this, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and I'm going to leave you off with thanking you for watching. I hope you learned something from this and I hope it wasn't too hectic or something. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe.